And today at the House of Representatives, 16-year-old Isabel Anani, a female student, presided as shadow speaker over a special plenary session to commemorate the International Day of the Girl Child, which is observed every October 11. National Assembly correspondent Mitere Ikwen reports that lawmakers passed resolutions to promote the welfare of the girl child and curb the menace of out-of-school children in Nigeria. I vacate for you. Speaker Tajuddin Abbas vacates his seat to allow Ms. Isabel Anani act as shadow speaker an initiative to honor the girl child. It's the first time a non-member will take My charge of plenary, and the pro tem speaker did not disappoint. I want a future where the healthcare system for girls isn't discriminated against due to social cultural factors that so wrongfully exist. Girls are breaking boundaries, regardless of the stereotypes and exclusion. To ensure the sweet passage of bills that seek to protect women and girls. Those in favor of the motion say aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have it. Isabel was chosen for this prestigious role after emerging first among candidates across Nigeria as part of our effort to empower young leaders. Adopting other motions, lawmakers advocate better welfare for teachers and the expansion of the nation's tax base. I urge the federal government to consider alternative revenue generation strategies such as widening the tax to capture more high-income earners. Urge the federal government of Nigeria, the state's government, and other stakeholders in the education sector to address without delay the plight of teachers in Nigeria. The House sought relief for flood victims as well as preventive measures. Urge the Federal Ministry of Water Resources and Sanitation to reassess, fortify, and reconstruct the Allo Dam to postpone any future occurrence of plots. To mandate the Federal Ministry of Housing, Rural Development and Urban Development to ensure the rehabilitation in collapsed houses and roads in the local, local government and the South South local government. Meanwhile, the House Committee on Disability has been given a four-week deadline to investigate public building plans without adequate access for persons with disability and make recommendations for further legislative action from the National Assembly. Mitaire Ikwen, NTA News.